Dinosaur size comparison. How big were they really? Dinosaurs have always been the reptiles that have been a mystery to us humans. While a number of excavations and researches have proved their existence, their size still remains a question. But how big exactly were they? Were they as big as an elephant? Were they bigger than what we think? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Hey everyone and welcome back to yet another video from our channel. We hope you guys are doing extremely well. In this video, we will be talking about dinosaur sizes. We will be diving deep into every aspect of this topic. So if you are new to this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. When dinosaurs inhabited the Earth over 66 million years ago, their sizes and species varied dramatically. While geological evidence is far from complete, fossil evidence suggests that the largest dinosaurs were comparable to the length of a Boeing 737, or the weight of 12 elephants, Meanwhile, the smallest were similar to the size of a chicken or bird. Towering as high as 39 meters, the Argentinosaurus, or Argentina lizard, is currently thought to be the largest dinosaur ever discovered. It was a sauropod, a subgroup of dinosaurs with very long necks and long tails, four wide legs for support, and relatively smaller heads. In 1987, its bones were unearthed in the Patagonia region of Argentina, a destination well known for prehistoric fossils, for comparison's sake, the length of the Argentinosaurus is as high as a 13-story building. Other sauropods were also massive, including the Brachiosaurus, or arm lizard. It was roughly the size of a blue whale. Fossil evidence, discovered in 1900 in the Colorado Valley, showed that the Brachiosaurus lived in the late Jurassic period, 140 to 155 million years ago. Similarly, the Tyrannosaurus rex, 12 meters, also lived in North America. But during the late Cretaceous period, some 80 million years later, among the smallest dinosaurs were the Parvi Cursa, literally small runner, and Epidex Tipterex, literally display feather. Both were under 45 centimeters, similar to a modern mid-sized bird. Not only were the dinosaurs sheerly colossal in size, but so too was their mass. Consider how the Argentinosaurus was about the weight of a typical rocket at 75,000 kilograms, or twice the mass of a Boeing 737. And there were many heavy dinosaurs, such as the Diplodocus, meaning double beam, which weighed a hefty 13,000 kilograms. How do we know these sizes and weights? Scientists use discovered bones, impressions, and completed fossils to come up with ranges of estimates. The more complete a fossil and the more similar fossil exists, the more accurate the estimate that scientists can make. But amid discoveries of the largest dinosaurs on Earth, many paleontologists have questioned size claims. Due to incomplete fossil records, some estimates are based on as little as a handful of bone records. For instance, just 20% of the Brachiosaurus' skeleton has been discovered. At the same time, techniques such as 3D scanning continue to be refined, and there are now many different techniques being used to estimate size. That said, one study has shown that even diverse sizing techniques typically arrive at similar results. With access to virtual fossils, broad archaeological datasets, as well as advancing techniques, and new discoveries, the understanding of the sizes of dinosaurs continues to evolve. Every year, our understanding of dinosaur and their size changes. For instance, last year in 2020, scientists were able to uncover a dinosaur the size of a hummingbird, a new species that now holds the title for smallest dinosaur ever. Chances are, when you think of large dinosaurs, the T-Rex is probably the first thing that comes to mind. After all, it's been the face of a variety of franchises, and it's arguably one of the most recognized dinosaurs around. While the Tyrannosaurus rex may not be the largest dinosaur, there is still no doubt that it's a humongous reptile. In fact, a full-grown male Tyrannosaurus rex is estimated to be as tall as 12 feet. That's the same height as an African elephant. However, that's not their more impressive measurement. Based on fossil records, scientists have been able to estimate that the Tyrannosaurus rex could be as long as 40 feet from their nose to their tail. This is around 10 feet shorter than the overall length of the Spinosaurus, but it's still the same length as a London bus. Like the T-Rex, the Triceratops is another well-known dinosaur. While they can look large and intimidating with their large horns and scaly fan at the top of their head, do you know just how big they really are? Surprisingly, they're actually the smallest dinosaur mentioned in this list. Fossils show that the body length of the Triceratops was only 30 feet long, nearly half the length of the Spinosaurus and less than a quarter of the length of the Argentinosaurus. In fact, the Triceratops could almost fit perfectly in the space between the Argentinosaurus's front and hind legs. When it comes to weight, though, the Triceratops and the Tyrannosaurus rex are well met. 
The Triceratops weighed up to around 11,000 pounds, making them about one Ford Taurus lighter than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. However, this is with the maximum average weights, and it's quite possible that many individuals of each species weighed the same. So how does a human measure up to some of the world's largest prehistoric giants? The smallest dinosaur in this guide is the Triceratops. However, it's still much bigger than a human. You may be able to see eye to eye with it due to the shape of its skull and body, but if you were to lay down beside it, you would only be around one-fifth of its length. One Triceratops also weighs the same as 55 average adult human males, or 65 adult human females. However, when it comes to the Argentinosaurus, we're no more than the average squirrel or mouse in its world. Standing side by side, the average human would barely come up to the Argentinosaurus's knee. However, if we were to look to a scale, it would take nearly the entire population of Blue Ridge, Georgia, to weigh the same as a single full-grown Argentinosaurus. That's around 1,000 people. The largest dinosaurs that ever lived were the giants of their time, reaching the heights of over 30 feet and masses of over 100 tons. However, many smaller dinosaurs also existed and ranged in size from the diminutive Hadrosaurus, which stood just over 12 feet tall at the shoulder to the downright tiny Deinonychus, which was only about 3 feet long and weighed just over 2 kilograms. There are many different types of dinosaurs, but some of the tallest were the ones that were the biggest. For example, the tallest dinosaurs were the sauropods. These dinosaurs were so big that they could reach heights of up to 60 feet tall. Other dinosaurs could grow up to be 80 feet tall, and they were some of the largest creatures that ever lived. The smallest dinosaurs were no bigger than a house cat, the smallest known dinosaur is only about the size of a chicken. The biggest dinosaur is a titanosaur, which is a type of sauropod dinosaur. These dinosaurs were huge, measuring up to 120 feet long and weighing more than 50 tons. They were the largest animals to ever walk the earth, and their size was only surpassed by the largest dinosaurs of today, such as the Tyrannosaurus rex. There are a few different ways to measure the size of a dinosaur, but the two most common methods are length and weight. The largest dinosaurs, by length, were the Apatosaurus and the Diplodocus, both of which were around 60 feet long. The largest dinosaurs, by weight, were the Brachiosaurus and the T-Rex, both of which weighed around 85 tons. Dinosaurs are often thought of as being very large compared to modern-day buildings, but this is not always the case. For example, the largest known dinosaur, Argentinosaurus, was only about 30 meters long and weighed around 10 tons. This means that Argentinosaurus was only about one and a half times the size of a modern-day building, and even smaller dinosaurs were much smaller still. In fact, most dinosaurs were only about a few meters long and weighed only a few kilograms. This means that dinosaurs were much smaller than most modern-day animals and were not as large as many people think. And that's all for today. Did we miss out on anything? Do you have any other insights on this topic? Did you enjoy watching the video? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already, and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya.